Hello, my name is Seket, and welcome. We're playing all the magic spellbound. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Alright, hopefully we won't have to do too much more of that. I bet the issue is the size of the tree. Um, so the next thing we want to do, we got to get into evil craft, at least to some extent. And what we got to do is craft an apple with a dark gem and make a darkened apple. Now we're going to need a book. Here we go. Now what we want to do, apparently, is uh, feed the apple to a passive mob out of a cow. And then there's going to be some kind of an anomaly that we want to throw the book into. Now we got the Origins of Darkness, which I understand is the guidebook for the mod. Okay. And then the spirit's blood extraction, blood infusion. Okay, so we definitely need to get to the second age to do what we need to do here. Um, discovered a dark way of living with the creatures of this world. What evil will come of this? Evil lurks in every corner. Uh, villagers and zombies. Blood. This work is uh, first age, second age. Navigate through the book. Uh, shift clicking will go through whole sections. First age. Dark ore, dark and apple, evil dungeon. Okay, we've definitely found some of this blood. Ah, yes, it's in a drawer. Okay, so it looks like the next thing to do is craft some of these blood extractors. We're going to need some of those uh, syringe, some of those spikes. There we go. And I guess we can craft two of them together to double the capacity. Yes, we can. Oh, OK. And you can craft uh, if it scales up. Cool. Well, what we're going to do. Was that? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go kill some mobs. Let's see how this works. Holy crow! Okay, did that do anything? Okay, that that got us a little bit of blood. Cool. Now here's a question: If I kill the mobs, the dad can sacrifice. Do we get? No, we really don't. Okay. Yeah, we definitely get it like that, but not with the dagger sacrifice. Now, if I understand the quest line properly, we need a place big enough for five liquid. And what do we do here? Um, oh, okay. Okay, so that's how we get the dark power gems. Gotta be fast, huh? Okay. Alright. Just right click to get it in there. Throw it in there before it hardens. Do, I don't know, one more, I guess. Now, what we want to do is the same thing, but no? Okay. I guess by the same thing and leave it in there, it means not through the dark gem. Okay. And this will harden. And we need silk touch to mine it. We can about handle silk touch. Okay, the first time that one block hardened really fast. I don't know... Uh, Okay, there's one. Let's see the rest of it go here. Here we go. Awesome. And I guess we smelt these up. Should be easy. 
easy enough. Yeah. Oh wait, we only get five of them? <laughs> I mean, according to this, the hardened blood gets you nine. Maybe it was the furnace. Let's try it in a normal furnace. See what happens here. That'd be unfortunate if the old, the, uh, the iron furnace stuff didn't work. Yeah, the iron furnaces do not work with those. Well, it is what it is. Now what we need here is a blood infuser. Um, let's see. Okay, so a blood infusion core is one of these dark gems and a bunch of these blood shards. And then it's okay. There's one blood infuser. And I think we need to increase its capacity. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that. Smelt it up. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> There's something called a dark tank. Let's see. Okay, I think we might have made some of these before. And maybe we can fill them up here. Let's see. We need more of these. Okay, can we just put them in here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so putting the syringe in there worked. Condensed blood might work the same way. We're gonna find out. Um, let's see. Back to what we're looking for here. That's right, the essence of eternal life. What we need is this, we need 50,000 blood. We need a promise of tenacity three. We need a diamond promise acceptor, block a diamond, and a promise of tenacity two. We'll need a gold prom promise of tenacity one, iron, block of iron, and 10,000 blood. Let's see how it goes. So these tanks work the same way the syringes do. You can craft them with each other to increase the capacity. It's pretty cool. That looks like that's gonna work. Let's get rid of uh, some of the stuff we picked up. Okay, maybe. Okay, an iron promise acceptor. What do we do with it? Okay, we want one of these promises of tenacity. So spider eye, what was that, a bowl? It was a bowl of promises. Okay, so we'll need crushed dark gems. I'm sure we have a bunch of that over here. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, so what we do is, yes, no? Okay, we've got to make a bowl of empty promises. I guess with these things? Okay, now there's supposed to be a better way to get, okay, blood. Let's go make some. Okay, yeah, this is trucking right along. Let's see what's next in the quest line. Okay, well, it did it did want us to make the chest, so let's go ahead and make the blood chest. We're just gonna need another one of these blood infusion cores. And this uh, this will actually repair items.
What's going on? It's not, uh, is that quest not open yet? Oh, blood shards. Okay. It wants us to make a core and have it in our inventory. There we go. Let's get our quest rewards here. Okay, and we'll have to pick up the blood infuser when this is done. Oh, we'll just pick it up now. 10,000 blood isn't the end of the world. Oh, it keeps it. That's very nice. All right. So now we should be able to make the dusted bowl of promises. Very good. And we do something. OK, spider eye this is what we want. Let's see here. Uh, that's not, is that what we're looking for? I don't think so. Well, that's weird. It shows up uh, the Iron Promise Acceptor recipe. Or does it have to be at least tier one? I think it has to be at least tier one. OK, so we'll need one of these promises of tenacity. But that should be a tier zero. Oh, okay. We got to put it in here first. I was missing that step. Is that? Okay, it's doing something. Okay, one bowl of promises. And that's on, uh, on this tack. Okay, so the promise of tenacity is the last thing here. One promise of tenacity. Usable in. Okay, it increases the tank capacity. We're actually going to need a couple of these. Um, we're going to need to get up to 50,000. Let's make another one of those. Okay, I think the problem was I wasn't getting it to 40,000. These give a certain amount, but the blood extractor can let out any amount. So now we should be able to uh, hopefully... Put the block of gold in here and go, okay, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, we got it. Uh, let's see if I can remember what we were going to do with it. Um, okay, yeah, we were going to make this uh, this promise, promise of tenacity second tier. Uh, we can switch that up. It'll hold a lot more blood now. I think the same dusted bowl of promises just with one of these in here, and that'll give us the, the tier two bowl. We'll, we'll find out. Come on. Okay, it sure does. I ended up going hunting Endermans for, uh, for blood, but we should be able to make, let's see if it'll start. That should be enough. Seems like it's doing something. Oh yeah, it's doing something. It's just very slow. Next thing we're gonna need. Um, let's see if I can identify it. I think one, we got one of these vengeance rings, right? Wait, did that say disabled? Okay. There we go. And we've got this Vengeance Focus. My Detractor Summon, Shift Right Click to Toggle Boost. Let's make both. And let's make Spectral Glasses. Why not? Oh, do we need something else there? Oh, we need that stuff. Okay. We'll just uh, 
put the vengeance rings in there for now. How's this coming? Slowly. So the vengeance ring equips right in there. This, I guess we'll see. Okay, this thing is almost done. Now I think the next thing we have to do is something to do with these. We have five with vengeance spirits in them, and some with who knows what. Okay, yeah, there's our diamond promise acceptor. Let's go ahead and make the third tier. Oh, we need an eye of ender. Sure, we have some blaze powder lying around. Very nice. This will increase the capacity even more. So that's cool. Now we're going to see if we can figure out how to open these up. We got a ring. what I was looking for. Okay, turns out we got in the head of ourselves a little bit. Let's go ahead and get ourselves organized here. We're going to grab our syringe. We're going to get a bunch more. Where is the syringe? There it is. We're going to go get a bunch more blood. Okay, hopefully this is a good amount. <laughs> this one is flying around and taking Endermans out. Um, what we want to do is try to fill these orbs up with blood. This thing is what's going to allow us to uh, to kill the spirits. Now with the thing we had, we could freeze it. But some end crystals, some popcorns, fruit, and these blood orbs, we can kill them. So let's try with this one. Yeah, okay. Sure seemed like it killed him. Let's try another one. All right, drops. Vengeance Essence. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to do the rest of these. Wait, can you keep opening these over and over again? Let's uh, take one of these vengeance. And let's kill Dinnerbone, too. Sorry, Dinnerbone. Special oh, graves dust. We're getting this vengeance essence regular though, and that's good. But did we only need one of these? Like... Am I actually killing this thing? Something happened. I don't know that I got any more of the vengeance essence. So let's take this one, put it back down. OK, yeah, they're just open now. All right, cool. OK, so now that we finally have some of this vengeance essence, 
we can make the materialized vengeance essence. And with this, we can get the Garmon Bosia. Just need 50,000 blood. Who's got 57,000 blood? We do. Oh, we got a little bit more, maybe from uh, fighting those things. Who knows? Almost done. Come on. There we go. Now what we need to do is craft it. Where did I put those spawn eggs? Are they out here? No, they're inside. We need to craft it with six spawn eggs, and I hope I have um, the six we need. I'm about to find out. Where did I put those? Ah, here we go. Okay, I know I'm going to need one Enderman's. Let's see, rotten egg, silverfish, I think we'll need a skeleton. And I know we'll need a witch. And I think a zombie. And a zombified piglin. What's the other one that we need? Skeleton, witch, pillager. Do we have pillager? I don't think we do. What level of capturing do we have on this? None. Now what we could do is I think we have enough of, uh, of this alloy to spare one and make the Aldemodium Alloy Blade. Is that not a quest? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong quest line. Oh, it's the Paxel. That's the quest. Okay. Now, our Unobtainium Sword here does 1,100. This does 1,500. Um, I think it would be funny to enchant it with this huge setup. Um, Fire 4, Scavenger 3, Soulbound. Let's see what happens if we enchant at 75. Oh! Okay, all of that's good. Also, we got capturing 7. That's amazing. I say that's amazing because it's capturing that gives us the, uh, the chance of getting the spawn eggs. All right. We'll put our unobtainium sword from Tetra right here. It did a great job. Now we gotta find ourselves a pillager tower. Is that one right there? I don't think it is. I've gotta be one around somewhere. So the first thing I hit with the sword was uh, this royal red from Wormroost, which is how you tame him. That's part of it anyway. Uh, it's supposed to let you feed it raw meat every so often. But it doesn't seem to want it. I don't know. I think we need the special dragon meat, so I'm just going to make a waypoint. Find a pillager tower. What on earth is this? It's full of jerks. Let's see what we have here. Slow jerks. Uh... Okay, we found one. It's, it's laggy out here. Oh, and it's 
it's all swampy too. Whoa. Yeah. Let this load in. I've been flying at high speed. That's probably why it's so laggy. Whoa. You know, we're making spirits. I wonder if we can get these spirits too. <laughs> See. Certainly seems to hurt it. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we can just kill mobs. Okay, hey, we got two. Nice. And now we should be able to craft this up. And then this up. Very cool. And I think we're going to call it there. We've made a lot of progress towards the ATM star. There's just a few things left. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.